A video on frames of reference presented by Madhukeshwara Ores, Assistant Professor of Physics. The content shown here are explained in this video. The following concepts are very very important to know about the frames of reference such as point particle, event and an observer. A point particle or a point mass is a quantity of matter having practically no linear dimension but only a position. An event is something that occurs instantaneously at a point in space. Hence, it involves both position and the time of occurrence. A person or an instrument which can locate, record, measure and interpret an event is called an observer. A system of coordinate axis which define the position of a particle or an event in two or three dimensional space is called as frames of reference. The essential requirement for any coordinate axis to become a frame of reference is that it should be rigid. For example, Cartesian coordinate system. For complete identification of an event, it is important to know the time of occurrence also. Hence, an event is characterized by four coordinates x, y, z and t. A frame of reference describing an event in these four coordinates is known as space-time frame. Frames of reference are classified into two types, namely inertial frames and non-inertial frames. A frame in which Newton's laws of motion are valid is called an inertial frame. A frame in which Newton's laws of motion are invalid is called a non-inertial frame. It is important to know the following facts about an inertial frame. An ideal inertial frame of reference does not exist in the universe. Inertial frame exists only theoretically. Any inertial frame is just an approximation of existing non-inertial reference frame. Some examples for an inertial frame of reference are number one, a free falling object without a parachute, without a resistance in a gravity field. Number two, a person standing still or moving with uniform velocity on earth. Number three, a spaceship moving freely in space is inertial. A linear motion in which the velocity remains constant and the path is a straight line is called rectilinear motion. An object that travels at a constant speed with zero acceleration refers to uniform rectilinear motion. A frame in uniform rectilinear motion is also inertial. An event observed simultaneously in two separate inertial frames will have two separate sets of coordinates corresponding to two reference frames. The equations connecting the two sets of coordinates of an event in the two inertial systems are called Galilean transformation equations. Let S be an inertial frame of reference at rest and S prime be an inertial frame moving at a constant velocity v. The position of the material point A measured by an observer at O 
with respect to the frame S is given by x, y, z and t coordinates and the position of the same material point A measured by an observer at O prime with respect to S prime is given by x prime, y prime, z prime and t prime coordinates. Then the Galilean transformations for the coordinates of the material point A in the systems S and S prime will have the form x prime is equal to x minus vt, y prime is equal to y, z prime is equal to z and t prime is equal to t. These equations are known as Galilean transformation equations. The inverse Galilean transformation equations are given by x equal to x prime plus v into t prime, y is equal to y prime, z is equal to z prime and t is equal to t prime. In order to show that the length is invariant under Galilean transformation, let us consider an inertial frame S at rest and an inertial frame is prime moving with a constant velocity v. The Galilean transformation equations for an event a1 are given by x1 prime is equal to x1 minus vt, y prime is equal to y, z prime is equal to z and t prime is equal to t. The Galilean transformation equation for an event a2 are given by x2 prime is equal to x2 minus vt, y prime is equal to y, z prime is equal to z and t prime is equal to t. Then x2 prime minus x1 prime is equal to x2 minus vt minus of x1 minus vt which is equal to x2 minus x1. That is the distance between the two events a1 and a2 measured by an observer at o prime with respect to s prime is same as the distance between the same events measured by an observer at O with respect to S. Therefore, the length is invariant under Galilean transformation. Now in order to show that the velocity is variant under Galilean transformation, let us consider an inertial frame S at rest and an inertial frame S prime moving with a constant velocity v. The velocity of the moving particle e with respect to s is given by u is equal to x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1. Now if you use the inverse transformation equations for x2, x1, t2 and t1 then u becomes u is equal to x2 prime plus v into t2 minus x1 prime minus v into t1 by t2 prime minus t1 prime which is equal to x2 prime minus x1 prime by t2 prime minus t1 prime plus v into t2 minus t1 by t2 prime minus t1 prime which is equal to u prime plus v because t2 minus t1 is same as t2 prime minus t1 prime where u prime is the velocity of the particle a with respect to s prime. Therefore u prime is equal to u minus v that is the velocity of the particle a measured by an observer at o prime with respect to s prime is not same as the velocity of the particle a measured by an observer at o with respect to s. Therefore, the velocity is variant under Galilean transformation. Now in order to show that the acceleration is invariant under Galilean transformation, let us consider an inertial frame S at rest and an inertial frame S prime moving with a constant velocity v. The velocity of the moving particle e with respect to s prime is given by u prime is equal to u minus v. Therefore, 
du prime by dt is equal to du by dt minus dv by dt which is equal to du by dt because v is constant therefore the differentiation of v is zero therefore a prime is equal to a that means the acceleration of the particle a measured by an observer at o prime with respect to s prime is same as the acceleration of the particle a measured by an observer at o with respect to s therefore acceleration is invariant under Galilean transformation. According to Galilean principle of relativity, there exists an absolute space in which Newton's laws are true. In these frames, the length and accelerations are absolute, that is invariant, whereas velocity is not absolute, that is variant. All inertial frames share a universal time that is t is equal to t prime. This was first established by Galileo in 1636. All physics laws described in Galilean space-time have the same form in frames related by a Galilean transformation.